Sometimes right after the highest of highs, we can experience the lowest of lows. Uh, maybe for some of you, you just became a Christian and then it felt like right after that, Satan was attacking you. Maybe for some of you, it was in your marriage that you had some great momentum there spiritually and relationally, but then all of a sudden it seemed that as that happened or right after that happened, the devil really started to attack you. If you've ever been there before, I want you to know there's somebody in the Bible that feels the exact same way that you do. It's a prophet named Elijah. As we continued yesterday our series that was called that is called Peaks and Valleys, we went up to Mount Carmel to that mountaintop experience that Elijah had as God rained fire down from heaven and then those prophets of Baal and Baal himself was defeated. As he had a front row seat to experience something amazing, the very presence and the power of God, you would have thought that that would carry him uh, to, to more spiritual momentum. But then he hears a negative word. Jezebel cries out that what he did to the prophets of Baal is exactly what she's going to do to him. See, like Elijah, sometimes we have a tendency to listen to the wrong voices. And so yesterday, one of the things that we talked about is what the devil loves to do is he loves to shout lies while God likes to whisper truth. That we will hear at times, hey, you're the only one, while God says, no, there's a community around you. While the devil likes to shout, there's nobody as you know broken as you. God lets you know, listen, every single person is broken. We tend to listen at times to those wrong voices. And just because it's a loud voice doesn't mean it's the right one. And so here, right after he had had this awesome experience up on Mount Carmel, he experiences this low. And so he goes under this broom bush tree and he says in the text that he wished he would die. See, like Elijah, we, we make some of the common mistakes. Number one, we have faulty thinking. We listen to that maybe one lie and believe it to be truth. The second thing I think we do is we wear ourselves out. We run ourselves into the ground and sometimes our activity can actually be a liability. But the other thing that Elijah did is he shut people out. And when we're going through a hard time and having those kind of negative thoughts, the last person we really need to listen to is us. We need community. That's what we talked about yesterday, that community is not something that is merely just a luxury but for us as God's people and for everybody, it's a necessity. And so what God does for Elijah in that moment is a picture of what he does for us. He gives his rest to Elijah. He doesn't say, listen, I, I want you to go read this book and I want you uh, to uh, participate in this activity. He says, no, you need rest. You need to calm down and, and get some sleep. He gives him provision through food. He sends this angel to bless him. And then he gives him an assignment. Maybe right now you feel run into the ground. Maybe that you are just going from like Elijah, one of those really high moments to now a low moment. What I wanna encourage you to do is what we talked about yesterday, is number one, to get rest. It's okay to rest. But number two, to get back to your assignment. And one of the things that I noticed in that assignment that he gave Elijah was, was I want you to pour into other people to develop future leaders. Maybe that's a huge role that you can play here in the church at Madison or whatever church it is that you attend, to pour into the younger people, to pour into the next generation. Maybe as you're watching this, you're, you're right on the heels of a major victory. Please know that there is gonna come a time where the devil is gonna try to shout a lie to you, but listen to the truth of God and to know that you are chosen, you are loved, and he has an assignment for you.